Techno Update. Subscribe now. There's a new screen shape in town. Measuring 5.7 inches and boasting an impressive 2880 x 1440 pixel resolution, the G6 has envious screen specs, but those cool rounded edges and the overall size of the G6's screen isn't what makes it so special. It's the 18 to 9 aspect ratio. This also equates to a 2 to 1 ratio, which means two perfect squares fit next to each other on it, something that LG exploits in the user interface. Why should you care about the aspect ratio? Isn't that sort of thing just for sign geeks? It's actually the movie industry that may end up making or breaking the 18 to 9 screen. Some filmmakers consider it to be the happy medium between cinema and TV aspect ratios meaning regardless of what screen a video is watched on, it will retain the same look, no cropping to fit, and stay the same as the director and cinematographer intended. More and more video is being watched on smartphones, so this is a major consideration. Slick software and fun apps Android 7.0 Nougat is installed on the LG G6, and our pre-production review model had the March 2017 security patch installed, making it right up to date. LG's user interface is placed over Android and has a few additions to make better use of the 18 to 9 aspect ratio screen. Android purists will note changes to the notification shade, the settings menu, and the option to enable the app tray, or spread apps across multiple home screens. LG also provides various themes to match the color scheme of your G6, which change backgrounds, wallpapers, and icons. A wonderful wide-angle camera. There are two camera lenses on the back of the G6, both with 13 megapixels. One boasts a wider angle lens than the other. The 125 degree wide angle lens doesn't have optical image stabilization and it has an f/2.4 aperture, while the 71 degree standard lens has OIS and a far better f/1.8 aperture. You get two different experiences when taking pictures, especially in low light, when the standard angle lens produces pictures with more detail and less noise. However, the G6 can take some fantastic nighttime or evening shots, adding drama and atmosphere in the right environment. Used creatively, and with the right lighting, the wide-angle lens is also more than capable. Plenty of power and battery life. The LG G6 has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 processor inside, plus 4GB of RAM. There will be those who mumble complaints about the Snapdragon 821, whining it's not a super new Snapdragon 835. Don't be one of these people. Ever used the OnePlus 3T or a Google Pixel? There's more than enough power inside both those phones to keep them fresh for ages, and they both have the 821 inside. LG made the decision to use the 821 in order to get the phone on sale quickly rather than over the summer, and it shouldn't put you off at all. No hi-fi audio for most buyers and not enough storage. Watching stunning video is what the G6 is made for, so how about the audio experience? Sadly, it falls short of the video performance. It doesn't have stereo speakers, just a single one at the base of the phone, and there's no Dolby Atmos, or even standard Dolby audio tweaks. The single speaker does a decent job, but it's overshadowed by the iPhone 7 Plus, boom sound speakers on any HTC phone, and cheaper hardware like the ZTE X and 7 and 7 Mini. It's a shame, when what's on screen looks so fantastic, 